Hello there. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Dean Bodie podcast. Don't forget Dean Bodie podcast, Apple, Spotify, Google, Stitcher, all the platforms, and the Dean Bodie show. That's Dean Bodie, D E A N B O D I, space show. Just so I'm clear. Okay. <laughs> and that's the YouTube channel. And uh, I got a, um, I said this on the video we shot earlier today about the episode. You know, we tried to do another video presentation of you seeing me do the podcast. I try to be a pro like Mr. Tom Green, who's got all the fancy equipment and the special camera and the wide angle and all of this TV studio high level stuff. And I thought that it'd be nice to have my, my uh, oceans narrated by Kate Winslet, uh, ultra high def ocean fish tanky look thing behind me. And I thought it would be kind of a cool backdrop with the sound off. And I adjusted it too low. It cut off half my head. And <laughs> that's part of the process at Dean Bodie show. We like the rough edges. Yes, I could have not posted it, but I wanted to post it anyway. So was it really him? I kind of see him talking. It looks like him. Does he have like a, a some kind of stunt double? Wow. How high tech is that? He's got a stunt double doing it. Sounds like him. Not really sure. I think it's him. So we're rolling with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the content. And the, another added thing that I found out that's even another level of funny is I was given the Dr. D tip, dropping knowledge about the breathing exercises and everything as I was looking into the camera with half my head chopped off, counting off the inhale, let's say four times, and then you hold your breath uh, four times that, and then you exhale for half. So let's say, for simple math, let's say you inhale for two, right? Then you hold it for four times that, which would be eight seconds hold to fully oxygenate your system. Then you exhale for half, would be four. Great breathing exercise. Kind of a technique I heard from Tony Robbins, actually, many years ago. And it's about oxygenating your system and, you know, unfriendly little things that fly around in your system that do not like oxygenated environments is a pretty powerful tool you're putting your body in that environment so it can heal um, really really great stuff you start your day with that do a few sets of that at your comfort level always run things by your medical doctor if you're not comfortable doing something but go nice and easy just like exercise the walking is okay if you're not you know uh, used to exercise, you don't just jump into the five mile run, okay? <laughs> You're not gonna feel so good the next day. You know, baby steps. So, that being said, I was doing my finger counting, looking in the camera with the breathing, because obviously, as I'm doing the exercise myself, I can't talk at the same time. So, on the audio part of the podcast, okay, there was a silent time. So not only on the video did half the head get cut off, but on the audio during that little exercise, no, no sound at all. It's just me holding my breath. <laughs> I'm holding my breath. I'm loving it. This is gonna, that's going to turn out to be my favorite episode. You want to call it a blooper reel? Fine. You don't like what happened? Get your own show. Okay? But we like the rough edges around here. We're going to keep it on, keeping it real as we grow uh, as a show, Dean Bodie Show, and with the podcast. It's kind of fun going through the twists and turns, and you're not always going to get it perfect. Okay, come on. So next time we know, we got to tilt the phone up. We're using the phone camera because that's how we roll around here for now. And thanks for being around, helping us grow. Hope you're laughing about these things with us. But the message, man, let me tell you something. Wow, we're going to go down the road today. After my 71 Le Mans Sport that I got for $600 back in the day, back in, we're talking about late 70s, right? Um, first got my driver's license. After that car, after that thing decided just to die on me, oh, I wonder why. Maybe because I'd never changed the oil, okay? I had a great friend. Let's just call him Jeff. I had a lot of Jeffs. <laughs> the lip sync Jeff, we got the mechanic Jeff, but man, he had my Le Mans tuned up so sweet and he put the new, uh, the, the timing chain and the rods 
the new rods in there and the rocker arms and had it all sounding beautiful. But no, I had to add another thing. Why don't we get the high performance cam and let's put that in there when we shouldn't have messed with it because it was sounding, it was purring like a kitten. But we did. Wasn't really the same after that. But shout out to Jeff. Did a great job on my car <laughs> as we were messing around with our little hot rods back in the day. So after that car, basically it just conked on me one day. I pulled it over on the side of the road and I said, time for me to look for a new ride. <laughs> but that car really got me around. Uh, what a great time I had with that. Awesome memories. I wish I had it to this day because it would be basically... Um, a classic car collector's item at this point in time. The things we should have kept. Baseball cards, Hot Wheels, the 71 Le Mans. Oh, man, I wish I had all that stuff back. The comic books. Man, you're sitting on these gold mines, and you don't think about it at the time. I mean, we're talking about shoe boxes of football cards and baseball cards and other collectible kind of wacky pack cards um, with different series and stuff like that. And you got... The complete series of this and that, oh boy, do I miss not having those right now. Not just because of the value, but because it's just, you know, to look back, you kind of cherish that stuff um, because it's hard to find those again. So we went from the 71 Le Mans to my 1980 Z28 black and silver was I pumped. This was like my first real buying a car on my own, structuring out the car payments, paying for it. Oh, wow. This was a, a major step in my life, you know? And let me tell you the funny thing, the selling point of the car. No, it wasn't how beautiful the Z28 was with the air induction hood scoop. When you hit the gas, the little flaps on the hood scoop that faced you when you were driving, you could see them flip up like super high performance, like how cool was that? That wasn't even the selling point for me. Not the awesome interior, silver and black, and just the whole thing was just gorgeous and in mint condition. You know what it was? Are you ready? The air horn. <laughs> it came with the toggle switch on the dash. Obviously a previous owner, there was one owner, put a toggle switch in there with the air horn under the hood, so when you flipped it, blah! It would sound like an 18-wheeler, um, I have arrived. It was so much fun using that in the Lauderdale Strip, and you could blast it short or leave it on long, but that was the one because I knew nobody else was going to have that, you know? And that made the car extra, extra special for me, and man, what a time I had with that. It had a sunroof. Um, just love that car. I think I washed it too much. I think that car, I must have been washing the thing like every day. I wanted it to be so perfect. I would spray paint the rims when they started to fade or whatever on my own. And you just kind of back in the day, I don't know, I was comfortable um, playing around with the car. And you could basically work on these cars a lot easier. Now, forget it. You for, There's no way everything is so tucked underneath um, if you don't take it in uh, for regular service with the master mechanic, you're never going to get it done. But back in the day, you could practically crawl inside the car and work on it. Man, I know that 71 Le Mans, when I was in auto mechanics in high school, nobody had cleaner spark plugs than me. We had the spark plug cleaner, and you'd take the spark plugs out. For some reason, that was my thing. I didn't work on the carburetor. I didn't want to work on this or work on that. I had to have clean spark plugs. So you take the spark plug out, you put them in this little cleaner, and you gap them. You gap the little um, spark plug thing with a little gap, or it's like a little tool. And that was my thing. <laughs> I got through the class. The one thing I remember most about the uh, auto mechanics class, not only was the instructor uh, awesome, okay, and we had a good group. And that was the first time for some reason somebody had some chewing tobacco skull. I thought it'd be cool to try some. Okay, if you ever had that and you swallowed some by mistake, you're done. 
Okay, and not only did I turn 17 shades of green and got sick that day, but that's the last time I ever tried chewing tobacco ever again. I don't know how anybody does that stuff, but man, that stuff is strong. Man, it turned my whole, wow, I mean, really, like a, I don't know, some weird color shade of yellow and was not feeling well for a day or two until my system passed that, but that's Z28, man. Great stuff. Even when I was working at the Red Lobster with the first bartending job I had and basically my first girlfriend back in the day, I let her drive it as she dropped me off to work. And um, it was like watching her drive. Well, how cool was that to just kind of lend her the new car? She felt super cool with it, turning all kinds of heads. I remember picking her up from school with that Z28. And that was like, you know... You felt like you were growing up a little bit more, not only with the nicer car, but you're paying for it on your own, and uh, it was a looker, too. It was just great. I'll never forget that. What great memories that was. Man, oh, man, oh, man. So, you know, listen, again, um, we're having a great time over here with... uh, with the Dean Bodie podcast and hope you enjoy this little journey we took with the car and going from the 71 Le Mans to the 1980 air induction Z28 cruising down the Fort Lauderdale strip. I even had a great a friend at the time, Andy, who got a 1981 red one Z28, of course. And I don't know, which one you want to use tonight to go down the strip? You want to go in my silver and black? You want to go in your red? What choice is that have, man? Put in the Loverboy song in there. The kid is hot tonight. Whoa, so hot tonight. <laughs> and cruising down with the Billy Idol cranked up down the strip. Nice having cool cars to cruise down the strip with. Man, did we have some fun. Wow, wow, wow. But we're going to wrap things up now. And... um don't forget Dean Bodie Show YouTube channel. All right, if you see the one with my head that's half off, enjoy it. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the rough edges. Let's um, just keep moving forward and make sure you um, keeping your immune system strong once again, everyone. Keep the positive attitude. We're going to come out of this thing bigger, better, and stronger. Don't let yourself wallow in the news and all of that stuff. Get yourself out and about. Go for your daily walks. Keep the food. Remember that 90-10 rule? 90% eat clean. 10% you can do a little bit of treat, but not the other way around. Make sure you're drinking plenty of fresh water and um, some good quality supplements. And, you know, as we're moving forward, we got to um, take care of what we got to take care of. But don't ever forget the most powerful drug in the world begins with an F and ends with a D called food. Supplements are there to supplement the diet, not to take the place of. Dr. D, drop the knowledge. Hope you're having a great day. DeanBody.com, that's the website. And working on getting that new number. As I mentioned on the earlier video today, we have the uh, professional voice that's going to do the message. Hey, Lucy, that's the one I picked to do the recording. And it came through yesterday. But she said Dean Body instead of Dean Bodie. Come on. Body is B-O-D-Y, right? B-O-D-I is Bodhi. But she got it wrong. I sent in the script, and you're kind of crossing your fingers, hoping that they get it right. Now we got to resubmit, redo, and but that's okay. Another thing, doesn't always work out perfectly. You got to take it. You got to fix it. And it's not the end of the world, okay? Listen, everybody, you have, uh, have an awesome day, all right? Bodhi is doing awesome. Bodhi is my four-legged love of my life, my Shiba Inu, fantastic Japanese breed, Shiba Inu, just in case you didn't know, as we wrap things up over here at the podcast, means small dog in Japanese. Now you know how to speak Japanese, Shiba Inu, right? And um, most beautiful thing I've ever had in my life Wow, wow, wow. Gives me the joy vitamin multiple times a day. Much better than the stress and anxiety vitamin. Um, So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. If you don't have one, a dog, or you don't have a pet that you can love, it's a game changer. Something to think about, you know. And um, it's one of those things that will definitely smooth out the rough edges of your life and 
you'll see what I mean when you uh, get the joy vitamin uh, handed to you on a constant basis from the dog that's always happy to see you. It's just a blast. It's a blast going through the process, finding a good vet to take care of them, make sure they're feeding, or you're feeding them good quality stuff, and all of that you have to pay attention to takes you out of yourself is the main thing. It takes you out of yourself and puts you in that mindset of, no, you, this beautiful dog counts on you, you know? And um, it, it's just been unbelievably amazing for me in my life. And eh, take it for what it's worth. I can go on and on about Bodie as I do. So have an awesome day. Again, Dean Bodie podcast, Apple, Spotify, Google, uh, Stitcher, all the platforms, Dean Bodie Show, the YouTube channel. We're going to keep moving forward. Have an awesome day, everyone. Talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.